Hello everyone, my name is Rick and I'm here to talk about Audacity and to show you how to do simple recordings and how to do simple editing with Audacity. And also possibly showing you how to upload it to YouTube, though I'm not sure if I can. Uh, one thing I would mention is that I do my audio, audio recordings and video recordings live, so there's no second takes, there's no editing actually I do on my own, um, so please forgive any mistakes. And also this is probably my third recording because uh, this is important when you're doing a recording. Tell your family so they don't interrupt. Anyways, so first thing I need to show you is, uh, let's get rid of this picture. Uh, where to get Audacity. Audacity can be downloaded from audacityteam.org. It is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. If you do get it for Windows, especially particularly for Windows 8 and 8.1 Pro, get version 2.11 or higher because any earlier versions will have issues. I have tested this myself and yes, they do have issues. So get 2.11 or higher. Also, if you get the Mac version, which can be downloaded here, you will want to know about the security settings for the OS 10.7 and OS X 10.95, which need to be set so that it will actually properly open. Uh, it's just something to do with Apple Finder and you can find it here and how to do it. There are also a number of plugins to be added. I generally just do the MP3 encoder that allows you to do MP3. And if you click on the link, it will show you where to download the page to the download page. This is for Mac OS. And I think if you just click on it, it will uh, give you the DMG that you need. And also for Windows, the same thing where it has it's called lame, but it's uh, an MP3 uh, format for that works with Audacity. And so we go to Audacity, and once you've installed the lame, this is only if you're going to use MP3, but once you've installed lame, you can go to Edit Preferences, and under Libraries, you can locate the file after you've installed it, and say OK. Now you will be able to export your files into uh, MP3 format. And that is something good to know because you can do uh, save, but it's a project and it doesn't actually save any particular format. If you actually want to uh, save it as like a WAV file or an MP3, you have to do export audio. So you're exporting it as a different format. Otherwise, it simply saves it as an entire project, which you can reopen and continue editing at any time, which is nice with Audacity. So uh, for the layout here on the far right, you will see your speakers, in which case I have set to my headset. You also have your microphone, which I also have set to my Turtle Beach headset. And those two are the two settings you really need to set for recording, obviously. And up here on the, for the right, you'll see recording volume. Now I've changed this because if I have this set to full one or 100%, you could say, and you do recording, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. You'll see, test one, two, three, test one, two, three, that it gets very loud in Audacity. So to fix that, we drop this down. Uh, I dropped it down to, I think this one maybe needs to go a little further, even 84, let's say, 84%. And now, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. And we play this back. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. And that might be a little soft, actually. So I'm just going to kick that back up to 87. That sounds good. All right. So now we have the layout. And we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10. So now we have a recording of this, obviously. 1, 2, 3. And we can now start editing it. The first thing you'll want to notice is the, well, actually on this side you have pause, play, stop, record. But on this side you have the most important tool is a selection tool. This will allow you to select portions of it. It will allow you to select start points, four, five, six. And with the selection on there, you can do effects on that particularly portion that you've selected. You can also select the entire thing by simply clicking on the gray area here. 
All these controls actually are also available under edit, but it's just simpler to if you know what, what to do. So if you also wanted to say uh, delete a session, you can hit the delete button. You can hit, you can also go edit, undo, delete, obviously. You can also hit the backspace, which acts like a delete button as well. And there's a control. This is a very important control, control Z, which is undo. It's the same thing as going under edit, undo. And that's a very important, handy thing to know because it's just a little bit quicker often. Under here, you have zooming in to get finer control over a specific spot. If you need just like remove one little shout or, or weird pop that gets in there every now and then. And uh, if you want to like work on a specific section, you can click on it and it will highlight just that section. This, on the other hand, goes the opposite direction and fits the entire project in your window, which is handy because if you were like way out here and say, oh, that's way too small, you can simply click on this and it will stretch it out precisely to whatever dimensions your screen is. Now, I have to say that my screen is actually a little small compared to what you probably will be using because my recording is set to 1280 by 720 instead of 1900 just for ease of recording and uploading to YouTube. So uh, now we can go on and say, okay, everything seems to be set. Um, what if I want to do a second recording like right here, put in 14, 15, 16, eight, nine, <sighs> managed to get it in there. So now you have that section and you can say four, five, six, seven, 14, 15, 16, 8, 9, 10. Now you can export this whole project and it will merge these two. But if you wanted to continue working on this, but actually insert that into here, one way you can do that is to highlight this section, go under Edit, Clip Boundaries, and split it. Now with this split, you can go down here and using the Time Shift tool, basically what I call the mover, you can move that section over. Or you can move this section over. In fact, it's like this, so you can move it around. So you can set it right there. You can move this one up to here now. Nicely fits. Move this up to here. And now that everything is exactly where you want it, you can test that by simply using the selection tool once more. Going back. 4, 5, 6, 7. 14, 15, 16. 8, 9, 10. Now you can click on this and it will remove the clip boundaries, allowing you to move this whole section as one. Or the other way you can actually remove it is simply by, uh, actually no, I'm wrong. You can't, you have to actually click on it and then it will remove the boundary. So now by removing spaces in between, four, five, six, seven, 14, 15, 16, eight, nine, 10. And it's all as, as if it's just one, one, um, one segment. Now you can see eight, nine. this is my eight. So I can actually zoom in on this, as I said earlier, using this tool. And I could say from here to here, it looks like I can do, I'll do simply a, a copy in this case. You can also do this by control C. Now I wanna go back to full size project. And I wanna go down to here and this time I'm simply going to use the zoom in button. You can also do this with the control and your wheel button to roll it, roll your wheel while you're holding the control button down and it'll zoom in and out. So right here, I'm just going to do edit paste. So now if I go back a little bit to make this a little bit zoomed out again, eight, 14, 15, 16, eight, 14, 15, 16. It's not exactly where I want it to be. So I can zoom in once more a little bit, do a control Z and move it over here maybe. And now I can paste it in one, once more. And how does it sound? 8, 14, 15, 16. Yeah. 7, 8, 14, 15, 16. And it can almost sound like it's part of the, part of the whole series. Unfortunately, as you can hear, that 8 doesn't sound precisely the same as the other ones. And this is an issue you have when you have recordings and you start moving around, especially with uh, voice audio. People use different tonalities, speed when they say different things at different times, even if it's within a couple of minutes. And so you will have issues where it doesn't sound quite right. 7, 8, 14, 15, 16. That sounded, and this one of the reasons actually this one sounds 
is it sounds a little loud actually so what you can do under effects you can go amplify and you can go uh, oh by the way yes I should show you that you go effect amplify it will always default to the maximum audio allowed but that's not actually where the audio is at the moment the audio is always at zero so if you want to go less you have to go in this direction so we drop it down two decibels or two and a half decibels 2.4 there and see if that sounds any better Seven, eight, fourteen. yeah it sounds maybe seven eight fourteen fifteen sixteen pretty good 14 but as you can see I said this really fast so another thing you can actually do in audacity again under effects is you can change speed so in this case I'm going to increase it by 3% shall I say I don't know Let's see if that makes any difference 7 8 14 15 16 that's a little better let me undo that and that's where you can see control Z gets easy to do things with and we change speed once more in this case it remembers the last thing you did and we're going to increase that up to four how's that seven eight fourteen fifteen sixteen it still doesn't sound quite right but it sounds better than it did and that's the kind of thing you can do with audacity um, mess around with it a little bit so but one of the things you want to do and I will do it now is do a actual recording of um, a speech uh, let's pick the Gettysburg speech because I have that set up already and I will show you something that uh, can make a difference on how you do your recordings so here's the Gettysburg address um, and in this case I'm just going to start the recording the Gettysburg address from the walls of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington four score and seven years ago our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal okay the Gettysburg address from the walls of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington four score and seven years ago our fathers brought forth on this continent that sounds fairly okay to to me it sounds pretty much like way I sound which I can apologize for um, <laughs> we do have here somewhere um, hmm I have the Gettysburg address there date modified date modified somewhere ah anthem of the fallen I found this in my thing and this is if you want to have background music now what I was going to show you here is um, at first if you listen to it the Gettysburg address you can hear that the music is way too loud for the vo uh, to, to compare to your voice so under that you can right here there is a volume control and you can drop this thing down quite a ways and so now if we try it the Gettysburg address from the walls of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington four score and seven so that is one way you can control the volume of your background music it can still be too loud sometimes and so what you can do as well is highlight the music under effects do amplify and once again it's set at zero at this time because this is basically at max volume and we can drop this down oh four four decibels let's say almost there we go so that adds four decibels plus you can add another negative 20 here so basically be like 24 decibel drop in ba uh, the volume of the music the Gettysburg address I still think it's a little loud I'm gonna drop that down to 24 the Gettysburg address from the walls of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington four score and seven years ago our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation now as you can hear if you hear my voice here compared to the music four score and seven years ago our fathers brought forth on this continent you could say that the tempo is a little bit off so to alleviate that kind of a problem you can by the way at any time you can close a track and it's just gone you can always edit undo it if you want to but if the tracks not good you say it's gone 
Uh, that's a nice thing in Audacity. <clears throat> so now we have our music. And what we can do is we have to set this ready to play, and then we do the uh, uh, Gettysburg address. So uh, if you start recording, it will start actually also play the music as well. So I have to do this fairly quickly. The Gettysburg Address From the walls of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington Four score and seven years ago our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are gathered in a great civil war testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived, so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those here who gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate. We cannot consecrate. We cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who have struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus so far nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we can take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave their last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that of the government of the people, by the people, and for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Abraham Lincoln, November 19, 1863. So now we have <clears throat> the entire speech, and since you have the music in the background, you can kind of regulate your speech to what you're hearing. The Gettysburg Address From the walls of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington Four score and seven years ago our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are gathered in a great civil war testing whether that nation or any nation so can so to my ear my voice is a little harsh um, and I can actually, I think, drop my drop it by a couple decibels there. Also, what I can do is highlight my my voice here, and under effects, one thing that works at least I'm not sure for female voices, but for male voices particularly, you can adjust the equalization. Now, there's different ways of doing the equalization. You can do the graphics EQ, where each of these does a slider type type deal. Um, I prefer just to draw the curves. And you can hardly see it, but there's a little dot here. So if you click further back, there's another dot. Now you can take this first dot and you can drag it down. And the reason I do that is there, your voice doesn't get that, at least my voice doesn't get that deep. And it does drop off any kind of um, miscellaneous noise that might be caught in the background of the microphone. And I do basically the same thing on the highs. I will try to, so there we go. So I drop those off as well, and maybe even bring, you can, you can also move these dots back and forth as well. So I'll bring them in there. Now, for clarity of voice, I have found often if you make two dots and make two more dots, kind of like that, and drop it down about, oh, maybe a little less, right there and right there, that... Your clarity of the voice gets a little better and then you want to put a little bit in the highs I don't put too much on my voice it depends on how deep a voice it is the deeper the voice the more highs I put in and in the bass also the same thing if it's a really deep bass I don't put much but in my case I put a little bit because I don't have much bass in my voice and that usually works pretty well and you can see that adjusted here and the Gettysburg Address from the walls of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. Four score and seven years. Now that may be a little bit too much bass. It doesn't sound quite right to my ear. 
So we can go back and do a um, edit undo equalization. And we go back to equalization and it should still be in the same, oh nuts, it's not in the same parameters, is it? Oh. Let's see if I can uh, have one set here ready. Um, and this is way too much. We're just going to drop those down. How's that? All right. Well, well, it still seems a bit much, isn't it? Let's drop that down a little bit. There. Okay. We'll try that. See how that sounds. The Gettysburg Address from the walls of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this con. I'm still not happy with that. One more time. Effect equalization. Uh, in this case, we're going to pick mine again. You can uh, save these by going under Save Manage Curves and then giving it a new rename it. So you go to the unnamed and you can rename it and it will um, save it under that name. So uh, again, I, I think I just way too much bass in there. It just doesn't sound quite right. And I think I may have dropped this down too much. Let's bring that up a little bit. And like I said, you just have to kind of tweak it and test it yourself to see uh, what it sounds like. Maybe I need to keep these highs in a little bit more here. All right. Let's preview it. The Gettysburg Address. From the walls of the Lincoln Memorial. Hmm. I'm not sure why it doesn't sound right to me. Maybe it's just my voice. I don't like it. <laughs> we'll leave it as is. The Gettysburg Address. From the walls of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the... Now you can mute the uh, music so you can just hear the voice. So conceived, so dedicated, can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those here who gave their lives. So that way you can hear it. Now there is, if you go in this section here, you can kind of hear background noise. What you can do to get rid of background noise is you highlight a portion of it under effects you can do noise reduction now these are a zillion types of effects uh, many of them very useful um, hard limiter is a program that's not working for whatever reason <laughs> but hard limiter will actually um, uh, chop off top so you can like say I'm gonna remove the five top decibel noise and it's kind of helpful if you have like like pops or loud loud uh, sections that you just want to remove without having to remove everything else or change anything else. Um, but most of what I use is equalization and noise reduction. Those are the two big ones that I use. Um, and the first step with noise reduction is to get a profile of what noise you want to remove so that you get rid of that noise. So this is the noise sample we've taken. And now we highlight the entire section here and we do effect noise reduction again. And this tells you how much uh, noise reduction to reduce it by. Now this completely, um, I usually leave sensitivity and the frequency alone, but the noise reduction is variable depending on how much noise, background noise there is. Um, if you have like a really loud fan, you may have to have it up to 12 or 14. Um, I generally uh, like to leave a little bit in there. In this case, there's not much background noise. So I'm gonna keep it at eight this time. But it's usually between 8 and 12 is the, the average that I use for the noise reduction. And it will go through there and you can kind of see that this has now gotten a little smaller. And in fact, I will show you something you can do. You can shrink and, and unshrink these by grabbing it. And uh, I didn't quite grab it. There it goes. Now you can stretch it out. And you can see that the lines in here are much uh, shallower than what they were. In fact, I can do an undo it here. I'll show you the difference. Oops, that's the wrong undo. Okay, so let's try this again. See if you can see the difference. Um, let's maybe zoom in a little bit on this. You can kind of hear it there. I guess you can't really see it, can you? I need to really zoom in to see it. So we highlight it and we do effect noise re reduction and we go okay. 
And wow, you can't really see it in this case. But you can hear it. There's no noise in there hardly at all now anymore. So, um, and so your voice, Abraham Lincoln, November 19, 1863. Now normally you'd like to have a little bit of background noise on a voice because it just doesn't sound natural to have complete silence in between. Uh, it's called white noise, I guess. And you can actually insert um, a separate line with, with white noise, specific white noise, to make it um, sound more natural if you want to re, re, reintroduce that. But if you have music in the background, obviously that's not really The needed. Gettysburg Address from the walls of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. So now that we have our audio the way we like it, we have to, of course, get it to the right length. Now the first part is here, and that's that's a good uh, b good uh, segment in the beginning. The end here. Hmm. Lincoln, November 19, 1863. So we are pretty much gonna end it right there because the music I think kind of dictates that. So we're gonna delete that and we're gonna go here and this section we're also going to delete there we go but now it's gonna have this weird 1863 sudden drop-off in the music it's just like that doesn't sound good so from for the people shall not perish from the earth so from here probably since that's basically the end of the speech and again, it's easier if you zoom in. Uh, we go up here and we highlight, and this is handy too. You see the, the little finger there? Now that you got the finger, you can click and drag and it'll drag in that direction. You can do the other direction too, see? And you can go the other way as well, this way. So it goes either direction, it's very handy. So now that this is highlighted, we can go under one of the other effects that I used a lot, and those are the fade in fade out now it already has its own kind of fade in for the music so all we need to do is fade it out and so how does it sound now shall not perish from the earth Abraham Lincoln November 19 1863 and that's the end of it so that's how it fades out and sounds a little better than it did before um, and now we can basically say well it's good to export so now we can do file export audio or you can do just a selected audio if you're only going to do one portion but you can export audio and we will give it a name and a location so um, let's see if we can let's see here uh, test drive bandicam okay we'll give it um, And we'll save it. Oh, and here are your options for saving. So right now it's under the WAV format, 16-bit. That's pretty much standard. This is an uncompressed format from Windows from way back when, and it works great for most things. This is also where... Oh, yeah, of course, because it's WAV. There's no options. So if you click on the little arrow down here, that's what I should have done first, and you go to MP3, you can now save it as an MP3, and it gives you the options for how good a quality you want to have it. The lower the quality, the smaller the file smaller the file less uh, less well how good it sounds you know it doesn't sound as good there's constant average variable these all have different effects which I don't particularly know specifically which ones to do what uh, I usually just leave it a constant and um, but in this case I'm going to do a wave file which is a bit uh, which one was it? I think it's just this one, right? 16-bit, wasn't it? Uh, I forget which WAV file we usually use. Eh. Well, maybe 32. I don't know. One of the two. I think the higher one may be higher quality. We'll see. So I think they're about the same, though. So we'll save it. Your tracks will be mixed down to, stereo to, uh, to two stereo channels in the exported files. Okay, so you could actually um, have changed that in here as well. You could say make this one. Um, actually, let's cancel it and I'll show you. If you uh, right-click on these little arrows, these are very uh, handy arrows, by the way. 
They can change different ways things look. You could swap your stereo channels. You can split your stereo track, and you can turn uh, turn it uh, split it to mono. So you can basically create a mono tracks this way, or you can leave it stereo position that all men. My bad. Um, and on this one, I don't know if I can turn it into uh, mono left. Oh, sorry, I can make it right or left, but I can't uh, make it uh, position that all men are mono. Sorry, I keep clicking on the wrong spot there. Uh, so, in this case, if we export the audio in waveform, and I goofed it up again, didn't I? Um, oh, it is. It does do it as a 16-bit. Okay, that's fine. So, um... Gettysburg. Uh, all right, so we we'll just do that real quick. Just do Gettysburg. That's fine. And save as wave. Save. Okay. <clears throat> Your mix. Yes. So it'll be mixed down to stereo channels. This is where you can put in all sorts of information that shows up on computers and maybe on your MP3 player. Where we'll highlight. Say, hey, this is a track number so and so from year. But you don't have to fill any of that in if you don't want to. And so now that is done. That has been exported. And you say, yay, now I want to get it on YouTube. How do I do that? Well, to be honest with you, I am going to try it today. And so I go to the YouTube channel and you go to the uploads folder. As you click on uploads, it'll bring you here. And you have to be signed in, obviously. And I think it's under photo slideshow. I'm going to try that. So under photo slideshow, you have to um upload photos there it is uh select photos from your computer and we are going to go from bandycam bandycam by the way is my desktop recording program there are other programs that do it but i like bandycam it works fairly well for me and all it does is recording um and we would want to have a picture to upload so i already found a picture online and it's this may cause me issues with uh, YouTube, but I'm just going to use it anyways. So can upload that picture. And it's Gettysburg. And now we go next. And I believe we can now, I'm hoping we can now, upload. No, yeah? Can, is that the right one? That was wrong. Uh, eh, eh. Um, um, shoot, I wanted to add an audio track. I wanted to add the audio track to it. Uh, click publish. Advanced settings. Uh, I think I think I goofed on this so I'm gonna click on upload again yes leave this page I'm sorry I goofed that let's see if I can do it again create a photo let's try that highlight that one select and let's go next edit settings audio See, there should be a way here to add the audio that we just did. Okay, so it turns out that you cannot do this in YouTube itself. So that's a bummer. But you can use uh, micro, uh, Windows Movie Maker, I suppose. Um, whatever comes with Mac. I can't think of the name of it right now. Uh, uh, from iTunes. Uh, whatever. Okay, so <laughs> either one. You can make simple movies with your uh, computer. And so in this case, I will uh, find my Gettysburg picture. Where is that? Somewhere, somewhere. Gettysburg address. That's a doc. No. Ah, there it is. There it is, my picture. So we add that. And then we add music, which we'll find in Bandicam, which we called. What did we call it again? We called it Gettysburg, didn't we? Yeah, there it is, Gettysburg.wave. Open that. And so now it's seven minutes. And we can the Gettysburg Address from the walls of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. Ah, 
so it's only seven seconds my bad and so there is a way I think we can stretch this out um, zoom in zoom out how do we hmm I wonder if I just uh, keep I think there's a way to stretch this it should be a way um, or we just add more of these pictures in here. Is that possible too? Might be the simplest actually. I don't know about simple, but it does seem to be working. Um, let's see if I can get this a little smaller here. There we go. living rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished okay still got more to go all right I'm gonna pause this and get it done okay I got them all in there now um, that's probably not the best way of doing things there should be a way to uh, is there a view view um, waveforms preview full screen no thumbnail size hmm and set endpoint let's see how that of the people by the people and for the people shall not perish from the earth Abraham Lincoln no uh, that was bad so again control Z works oh I see we can Man, there has got to be oh Maybe if we highlight it there, seven seconds, we can make that instead five seconds, uh, three seconds. Yeah, that should be about right. November 19, 1863. Yeah, that'll do, I think. So there's the duration for that picture. Um, again, I have not used much in the way of Movie Maker, but as you can see, it's not too hard. Um, just kind of like butts around with it, as is always the case and um, probably could have done something with the picture but I am not going to bother with that so now we have to go can we just do YouTube okay, okay there's some 20. issue with the logins because of whatever reason I don't know Microsoft and Google are not friends so I'm just gonna save the movie as an mp4 my movie I'm gonna save it in Bandicam um, Maybe I should change this to address, save. And now it's just gonna compile and save the movie. Okay, so your video file is done. And now we can close this. And now we can bring in the video, which should be here. And we can give it all sorts of um, names Let's change that to Gettysburg address trial audio picture upload sounds good Yeah, those and it's going to take a while to upload but we can always publish it as is there we go so in four minutes it should be done and once it's finished uploading it starts in the processing mode which can take a little while and now that it's finished doing the processing you can go to the, the video itself by simply copying this and you can add it to all sorts of um, notifications for other people like Google Plus um, Facebook and whatnot and in this case you simply go up here and you paste it and hit enter and there it should be the Gettysburg Address from the walls of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington 
Fourscore and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are gathered in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived, so dedicated, can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field. And so as you can hear, um, it does work, <clears throat> and it's on YouTube. And so, so I guess that's the end of the video. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope it was of some use to you. And um, until next time, my name is Rick, and I will see what other things might be of interest. See ya.